up world you're back riding along with you know who cinnamon and i have a very interesting young man with me hello 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 Ooh, listen to that voice <laughs> are you a dj no i'm a security guy or oh, security at uh, club pinups oh security at pinups yes oh i've heard of pinups yes it's something where you go pin them up huh <laughs> yeah yeah quite quite yeah yes, <laughs> yes, yes. well so when when you say uh, like a bouncer or something? Yeah, bouncer. Yes. A bouncer. So, have you had to bounce anybody? Uh, off record, I can't say that. Meaning, have you had to, <laughs> like, break up a fight or anything like it's, that? It's, it's part of the job, you know. It's part of the job. I'm not talking about bouncing somebody, like, you know. <laughs> it's part of the job. It's part of the job. Yes, ma'am. It is. It is. So, is that the only place you've had to, you've worked at? No, I worked at several other clubs. Um, so, uh, off record, uh, Magic City, Blaze, um, of course, Pinups, V Live. Uh, oh, these are all strip clubs, huh? Yes, and I worked at a club called Central Station, but if you're from Atlanta, you know what that is. No, you know, I am not from here. What is that? It's a, it's a, um, it's a, it was, it was a club in East Point. It was really, really popular back in. It's about 2000, 2001, 2012, around that time. But it was really popular. It was the size of Value City. And then it was just really popular. Like, it was like a big, big club. Oh, wow. Yeah. I drove some guys that, um, for the Super Bowl. Okay. And I think they said that they were the owners of this club. But, but uh, one of the rappers was in town, and he was, like, throwing all his money out. Right. These girls, you know, I've, I've driven a lot of girls, too. Right. And they're like... You know, they make what I make in a week. They make it yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that's the lifestyle. That's pretty you know? cool. That's too. the lifestyle. You know? So some of these dances be definitely. Whew, it's, it's, it's a lot. Let's put it like that. It's a lot. You know? Well, yeah, but so you we were talking about the mentality or the a mentality of a dance. Yeah, well, and women, you said you, No, you were you were saying you you know you you've had the chance to work around a lot of them. Right. You know, and you don't have a girlfriend? No. Or you don't, you don't date any dancers? No. <laughs> I'm, uh, no. And I say that with a hesitation because I have dated a dancer before, but uh, just looking for a plain Jane, as I would say, plain Jane. Someone that's a not. plain Jane? Yeah. What's the difference? The difference. <laughs> well, I know one is dancer and one is not, but what's the difference? The, 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 the difference is when you have a mentality of a stripper, it's just changed. It's not. It's not something that you just. Just you have to be a dancer to understand. Um, there's levels to a certain type of. When you're getting certain type of money, or you're around certain type of guys, your mentality changes. Me as doing security, my mentality changed as far as, you know, the type of money I get. You know what I'm saying? Or the type of the type of interaction where I meet with people, not just strippers. When, when you're when you're making a certain type of mo amount of money, and you're around a certain type of people, your mentality changes. But going back to the whole stripper thing, I was one of just a normal girl that just liked the movies. Mm -hmm. me, okay, we gonna pause while you answer that. <laughs> so sorry about that phone call. Pause for the cause. Yeah, but um, basically it just uh, it's, it's no more normal girls. It's no more. I would I would say normal girls, but it's no more. And I guess in the field I work in, I don't, I don't I interact with, or well, I don't see a lot of females as, you know, I was just discussing it with my mom, where I can go to a movie, we can go to Dairy Queen, we can get like a little bite to eat, and that's a good date. Like, that's a good date, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I don't run across, across it no more, and I've been in Atlanta for a while. Um, I don't know because of my stature or who I am or who I be at, but I, don't, I haven't found a, 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 a female that can actually just say, you know, let's go on a date. Let's, let's actually go on a date. I haven't found it yet. Well. And then it's like, for me, it's like, you you hear a lot, there's a lot of successful women here, but I can't find out that one to say, you know what, let's go half on a bill. I'm, I'm always kicking out. I'm always kicking out. Okay, but you don't have to kick out if you go out with a dancer because... She bought her own money. No, you know? that's not necessarily true. They believe that it's, 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 I, like I said, it's the ones I have ran into, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
if you if you, if you going on a date, you paying. <laughs> you paying. That's just period. You know, you just you paying. I mean, but the way women look at it, mm-hmm. the way you know, we, we look at it like, okay, you're the man. Right. Which, which is which and is then, cool. Which is cool. So so there are expectations that women put on men because there are expectations that men put on women. You know. Okay. So okay, I'm, I'm just... a lot of guys want us to put out too. Not necessarily monetarily, right. but you know, hey. I, I say I say this, and I, I tell you, I, let me be clear about this. For the ones I have dated, mm-hmm. there's always I'm putting I'm putting out. I'm always putting out. If I'm not if I'm not paying the food the the uh, the dinner date, if we hang out a couple of times. Well, I need this bill paid. I need that bill paid. I need them like, dude, like we just met. Like, why am I paying this bill? Like, well, I need this. I need this done on my car. I need that done. Like, what would you do if I wasn't here? You know what I mean? Now, mind you, if we're de- if we're if we're in a relationship, I don't mind. I mean, like I said, I work multiple jobs besides security. Um, Pause for the call. Yeah, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, uh, I work multiple multiple uh, jobs, so. You know. But but like I said, when you date somebody, you don't expect her to put out. I mean, she could. No, I'm not talking about monetarily. No, nah, be honest with you, as a man, no, I don't want her to put out. But at the end of the day, I want her to really be like, okay, babe, we're going to date. I got this one, or I got you on this. You know what I mean? Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy, so I want to cater to my woman. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a cater to my woman. Make sure she's good. Make sure she's straight. But every once in a while, I got you. It's, it's, it's no problem. I got you. I want her to say, I got you. No worries. No worries. No problem. So I still don't see the problem with dating a female that makes her living in, you know, as a dancer. The problem is, like I said, I'm speaking on the ones I have dated. The problem is there's no more. I guess at least we might got this independent woman thing. You know what I'm saying? This whole Beyonce thing, uh, where it's I don't need no man, I don't want no man, I'm, I'm I'm good, I can do this on my own. Man, ain't this? This is a male bashing thing. Well, I well I came up, you know, in the age where it was like, or era where it was like, a man was, you know, you know, listen to that uh, Andrew uh, Stone song called Black Brother. Okay. It it takes you to that era where it's like a woman appreciates a man more. Just like, okay, that's my man. He's going to make sure I'm, he's going to be my provider. He's going to be everything I want. Where not so much a woman is trying to over, try to be the man place. Take a man place. Like, okay, we live in Atlanta. It's so many. And I might leave the LB uh, community. I might knock it. But there's so many women that try to be men out here. And I'm like, where is this, where's this coming from? Mm-hmm. Where's, this, where's this coming from? Like. Like, why can't you just let a man be a man, you know? But a lot of women, oh, I can do this by myself. I'm independent. Oh, y'all men ain't this, y'all men ain't that. But you got some men out here that's willing to make sure the woman is good. Make sure I'm going to take care of my woman, make sure she's good. So, wait, you just, okay, It's to me it sounded like you little, uh, you uh, contradicted yourself a little okay, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you said let a man be a man, you know, I'm going right. to take care of my woman. Right. But then earlier, you Earlier, said, what I, basically what I'm saying, yeah. You said... She wants you to pay her bills or whatever. True. But if you're going to take care of her, then... I'm, I'm going to take care of her. She's going to take care of you, no, regardless. No. Nah, like, you got a lot of females just want their hand out. I, I, I need this. I need that. Even when... It, like I said, this for what, I, what I'm speaking of, my experience. I don't mind taking care of. I don't mind doing it. But to overdo it, it's like, what about me sometimes? You know what I mean? Like, have my back sometimes. Well... We're gonna put your name and your your social media out there, <laughs> just so you can get wow. some females wow. to contact wow. you. Cause you said the first thing that they do is ask you for your Instagram. True. And what's what's your Instagram? What's my like, okay? So, put your Instagram out there. My Instagram is Barbara Life underscore fifty five. Okay. Barbara Life underscore fifty five. Cause you're a barber. I am a barber. Okay. That's my true profession. And you cut where? I cut in Riverdale. Uh, off of 85. It's called At the Barbershop. At the Barbershop. At the barbershop. Okay. And and so that's the only way they can contact you? Do oh. You, uh, you have Facebook? 
Facebook. Uh, I don't really do Facebook, Twitter. I don't do all that. I'm just an Instagram type guy. Snapchat. No Snapchat. <laughs> None of that stuff. <laughs> None of that. Okay. Um, uh, but if you need a cut or I know some women got short hair, my phone number is 678-435-1559. I don't mind putting my business out there. 1559. Yes. 15. Yeah, because you're an entrepreneur. Yes. You know, yes. you know what it's about. Yes, yes. All right, ladies. Well, you heard it right here from, what, tell your name again? Uh, Dell. Dell. Yes. You, Del. you never really said your name. Yeah, I'm sorry. But well, they okay. call me D for short. Big D. Big D. Yeah, yeah, you heard D. it from Big D. Yes. Um, if you have any comments, like, you know, <laughs> if it's junk, what he talking about, what, uh, <laughs> then, you know. It's not junk. It's, it's, it's just, it's just. <laughs> How, like I said, the woman I have, women I have encountered and, and dated, I really, I really miss that old. Like we're going to date, let's have fun, let's let's have that whole experience. Not so much. Let's go to a strip club. Let's go to a club. Okay, like, nah, so so you gotta you gotta stop thinking like, look, I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna give you any advice because oh, you know, okay, but okay. you're gonna you you feel like you feel, and then just go out there and get your feet wet and see what happens. Right. See what happens. How old are you? 31. You're young. Yeah, I am. You're young. <laughs> yeah. yes, <laughs> so, yes. girls, um, we're going to send peace. Send peace and love out to everyone, right? Yes, everyone. Right? Yes. All right. If you want to contact Dell, make sure that you do and put your comments below and give us two. <laughs> two thumbs, right, Dell? Two thumbs. Two, two thumbs. thumbs. Not yes. one, but two. Yes. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you contact Dell. Contact him. <laughs> Bye.